What's up guys, Johnny May here, and you were just listening to Johnny Hodges, the former Disneyland Main Street pianist, rock his arrangement of Sweet Georgia Brown. And guys, I am so excited because we got Johnny Hodges right here in the studio to share his tips, tricks, and tools for how he arranges songs in any style. Plus, he shares practice tips and exercises to master these techniques. Now, this is a very special interview because Johnny was my private piano teacher when I studied as a teenager, so you'll hear a lot of similarity in our playing. Lastly, this interview is just a small taste of the full interview at pianowithjohnny.com. I'll put a link to that below, and let's go ahead and dive in. You can make up your own pieces. Yeah. That's the fun thing about yeah. learning all these little tools, yeah. is all of a sudden you find yourself you know, I could write a tune. Yeah. I, you know, I could come up with something. So that was really cool. What, kind of talk to the students and me through what you just did, because that was really cool. That's the triplet roll, right? Yeah, it's triplet. Yeah. One and a two, three and a four. Yeah, triplet. Triplet, so. yeah. And that's just going up the scale. Yeah. Once you have that down, Teacher needs to practice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then you go. That's Trying different so things. So cool. No, so I want to talk about what you just did. So you're doing the triplet roll. Up the scale, yeah. you're I'm, harmonizing different chords, right? You're harmonizing... Well, what like I'm doing C is chord. taking the same chord, yeah. but, but taking the melody, uh -huh. and but I've still got the interiors the same. Ah, that's cool. So you're always moving the outer notes, keeping the inner notes the same. Yeah. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. So that's like an exercise you can yes, do, right? Uh -huh. you're, so you're moving outer notes, but you're keeping the same chord. Yes. That's awesome. And when you take, and it's a half step down or yeah. a half step up, yeah. it's somehow still related to the chord being called sure, for. Sure, sure. Right. Know. It's usually a neighboring chord. Diminished, you yeah. know. Augmented, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's, now, but you did another thing. So I, I really liked what you did with the scale, but then you started jumping. You would go, you'd, you started playing inversions down yes, uh -huh. your C chord using triplet rolls. That's just the triplet roll. Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. So you're just practicing different positions yes, of it, right? Then, then uh... Just moving it around. That's so cool. And those are that that's like the melody, right? Those outer yeah. notes form uh -huh. form so you can take any any melody to any melody out. and do the triple roll. Yeah. I mm -hmm. love that. See that's your approach. I, I feel like that is the Johnny Hodges approach to a song. Is you take this little fun little technique and I bet you right now, I mean I could call it a melody and you could just do it right with that. <laughs> like if I if I said play happy birthday with with the triplet roll, could you do it? Wolf whistles. Okay. You need the wolf whistles. What's the wolf whistle? Oh, I love it. Is that what you call that? The wolf whistle? The wolf whistle. I call yeah. it the whistle like you're whistling at someone yeah, that is whistle. looking good, but it's the wolf whistle. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. The guys are being wolves. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's so fun. Okay. Talk, talk me, because you're, you're the ragtime. You're the master of ragtime. Show me, you know, Show the student, I think they'll be really inspired, some of the rag rolls that you use that you taught me. I know we, you, you showed me the, the forward roll and, yeah, you know. Teach that to your students. Yeah. Of 
harmonizing the scale in virtually every kind of exercise you can come up with. Okay. And what are you doing in the right hand? You're just using uh, a, the same pattern, right? Or different yeah, chords? Yes, same. Just playing the chord being called for in the left hand. And what pattern are you doing? That's the forward rag roll. Okay. Then the reverse rag roll. That is the forward has the uh, quarter note at the end of the measure. One, right. No, excuse me, at the beginning of the measure. One, two, and three, and four, and everything else is an eighth note. Yeah. Reverse rag roll takes that f f octave at the first beat and puts it at the end of the measure. Yeah. Reverses it from the first beat to the last beat. Right. One and two and three and four. Yeah, that's so cool. And three and four. Yeah. Now you take and put the two together which is what the main objective is, is... Yeah. So That's you awesome. have that roll that keeps rolling. It keeps rolling. It's like a two-measure yeah. roll. And so you can... <laughs> you could just make up melodies all day with that. All day. All day, that's and it so helps cool. to have a beer. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and friends. And um, friends, that's right. So you could take, so really, th again, this is this is really signature to you. I mean, th I had never encountered anyone in my life that said, hey, here's a rag roll. You can do it on any melody, right? So if I threw, if I just threw another melody at you, could you do rag rolls on it? So he's going to give me Ave Maria, right? No, yeah, no, I'm not going <laughs> to give you anything too crazy. Let, let, you know, Mary had a little lamb or... You know, Ode to Joy. That's magical. Mary had a little lamb. Of, I've never done that before. Yeah, really? <laughs> Mary had a little lamb yeah. and a rag. <laughs> Ain't she sweet? Yeah, that's good. Oh, there's the ornaments. Oh, a lot of times great. it doesn't fit. Yeah. Because the melody's too busy. Sure. So sure. when the melody's busy, you got to throw the rag out there mm, and just do chase octaves. chase the melody. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what people are looking for. Yeah. But all the embellishments that you're throwing in it, sure. they're going. Hmm, I get the flavor of that. Oh, that's so yeah. cool. That's magical. And then those ornaments that you taught me, those are amazing. Those little fills that you throw oh, the in, fills, in yes. the middle. Zez Confrey. Thank Zez you very Confrey, much. yeah. Kid he's, on the keys. He's yeah, the man, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I used to do this. I can't do it anymore. But what are those fills that you were. Show us, show us the students those. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Ironwood, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. It's been a long time since so I played getting on the keys. No worries. But it is. That's the same. That's where it comes those from. Those are the, you call them ornaments, and mm -hmm. you can you can sort of pop those in on yes. just by any song. Yeah. And what are you doing? You're, you're doing like a E flat A. Mm -hmm. You're doing. What are you doing in the right hand? It comes off the D diminished chord, right? Retri uh, the the uh, the triad. Okay, it's a root position triad. Yeah. So you flatten your third and add the sixth yeah. to the top third, yeah. and then the root of the chord. And you can do that to any chord. Wow, that's but so cool. But you can't do it. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this interview, and if you want to catch the full interview, you can find it at pianowithjohnny.com. I'll put a link to that below, and I'll see you in the next one.